Right guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Look who we got behind me. We've got Steve here. We've also got Rob who paints stuff. So Rob has painted this amazing bike trailer for Steve. Dude stuff, go follow him. Loads of stuff on there about e-bikes if you don't already. Me and him do loads of e-bike collabs and all of that. What's going on here? I'm taking the dog with me, don't tell Rob. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just check all this out. Check this artwork out, it's absolutely crazy. I mean, it, it kind of looks like a photo, doesn't it? Yeah, no, it is really realistic. It looks, just looks amazing. Absolutely mad. So this is part of your... My lowrider project e-bike build, which is... Um, We've chosen the style called Chicano. Is it Chicano? Yeah. Chicano or Chicano. Chicano. It's like a Mexican low rider. The, st the style of it. It's like the you know the Southern California Mexican gangster. <laughs> 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 anyway, so if you want stuff painted, Rob's the guy to use. Dread FX is his kind of business name. Hit him up. I'll, I'll leave all the links and stuff in the description. But we're going to take a look at his paint shop and stuff today and um, where he works for him and what he does. And we're also going to have a look at doing some work on my calipers, which is not quite as excited as this, but brake calipers for my Audi TT anyway. The soft side of Steve right here. <laughs> to start a new channel. Cute stuff. <laughs> Cute stuff. <laughs> So guys, this is a kind of example of Rob's work. Look at that. So this is like a 5000S frame or like an enduro e-bike frame. Look at that. That's not real. That's, that's paint. <laughs> <laughs> Mad. And on the other side as well. So you can't really see, I can't see it because it, it's, it's sort of reflected. So, so this is the infinity mirror effect. <laughs> Look at that. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that How cool is that? Mad. Yeah, so what you're looking at is it's just, just bouncing it back. It's just yeah. bouncing that reflection back. So this isn't what's yeah. inside, guys. That is literally like a Have reflection. Have a look at the detail in the light. Sorry, <laughs> did you mind, Rob? Like, I, just, I just think like daylight is it's not really... everything. Look. Yeah, you can you can see it. And look at the fake welding. That's a paint technique. That's not weld. Where's that? What the... Right, oh, the edges, on the edge, yeah. All the edges. Tick welding all the way around. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a work of art. Need to get this built up. Yeah, big time. Yeah. Really Trying to get it into Steve's car now. <laughs> so this is Rob's studio. And what a lo lovely little place to work he's got here as well. So you've got extractors in here, all a proper setup. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I still can't believe that bike. It's just so amazing. So we've got the, the calipers, which I'm going to be... I'm not going to be painting, Rob's going to be painting. Um, but yeah, we've got the calipers all, all sort of not ready to go either. So they'd need a bit of prep work and stuff. So what do you reckon needs to happen um, prep-wise? What, that? What's that? We, uh, that's the paint we're going for. Ah, oh, wicked. Yeah, so we're going candy ruby red. Ruby red. And that'll give it a sort of like anodized look, you reckon? Yeah. With a sort of silver underneath. Silver, metallic silver base coat. And then we'll go candy red, red over the top. Wicked. And it'll look anodized. It's going to look smart. Up, and we'll put the logos, some nice text back in on the front. Yeah, that's going to look so good. And Because um, there's, there's a few bits. They look, don't actually look too bad under the camera. Um, but there's a few little bits of paint bubbled and stuff. So what what, what do you reckon prep-wise, what would you have to do to that then? To Sand all these back. And where it's chipped and not back here, we'll just grind these little bits back. Even if it's with the Dremel, yeah. take all these bits out. And then I'll etch prime these in an etch primer okay and then go up on the coats from then on what's etch priming how does that etch primer is you can go down to a raw steel with etch primer right and it's got like an acid etch in it and it grabs all of the metal and just uh, adheres to it better i see so that you can go etch primer or you can go epoxy primer yeah they'll both work the same way on raw steel or bare steel brilliant that's cool. So this will just so you'll sand this down to get that paint off. Is that what? yeah? We'll just sand this right down to get a nice key on that. Mm. Any bits that have gone through right here, mm. we'll just coat them in an etch or an epoxy, full coat first, and then just work off them coats. Wicked. But the bits where it's like nice, yeah. we'll sand that back. Yeah. But the bits where it's flaked, like this. Oh yeah, that's what I mean. We'll so that's the powder coat, is it? Yeah, we'll grind all this bit back where it's flaky, mm. so we get a nice keyed area, and then we can just put a coat of the primer over the top, mm. and then work from there. Wicked, exciting to see what that looks like. <laughs> <laughs> right guys, so it's about a week later, Rob has now finished the calipers, so I'm super excited to go and 
go and get them, check them out and see the work he's done. He sent me some pictures, but I'm not going to show you just yet. You have to wait until I get there, um, which will be in a minute. But meanwhile, something else has turned up. So in this box, we should have the discs. So I've got everything I need now for the, for the full brake conversion. Love a bit of progressive parts. They're super quick for delivery. So let's get these out. There's one box and another one. So just front discs, some genuine parts here. Whoa, look at those. Look at that. They're the Club Sport brakes. So original VW parts here. So these should bolt straight on. <laughs> I'm hoping they do. And they work a treat with the TTS calipers. It's a pretty substantial disc. It's quite, you know, it's a bit lighter than the OEM discs. So these are quite a lot bigger than the discs that are on there. And here we go. <laughs> so that should look absolutely insane with those beautiful red calipers. Right, I'm just on the way to Rob's now. I'm excited to see the calipers, but I'm also excited to see what he's done to an e-bike wheel that I left him. Right guys, I'm back with Rob. Let's check out the calipers. Look at these bad boys. <laughs> oh my God, they look absolutely amazing. Done an amazing job. How smart do they look? Are you happy with the colour? Yeah, yeah, come out well. They look better in the sunlight. Yeah, I can't wait to under, have a look outside actually. You're under LEDs in here, so it's... Yeah, so we've got complete coverage. So we were, we were saying, obviously this hasn't been a complete sort of refurb on these. It's just been kind of, you know, a, just a very, very good high-end paint job and kind of um sort of refurbished really but i mean you, you wouldn't even know <laughs> actually because they just look so good and he's done these sort of like black fades underneath here um as i say check out rob's video where the whole process he does a whole process on it um and he talks about it you know in detail I'm not, i don't you know understand the full process but um all i can say is they look the nuts. Good. Thanks so much. <laughs> but Rob did have a bit of a disaster. I did. Um, so this is the back, this is the wheel. I left him a wheel when um, this is not the disaster, but we, I left him the wheel um, motor wheel. So this is for a five thousand S bike um, that we sell on Curry Bike Store. A um, bit like my one that I made road legal. Look at this paint job that <laughs> Rob has done on this motor. So you got all the coils, the stator. And you know some wires in there as well. It looks the nuts. And then you've got like the um he's got like an Oz Racing logo down the bottom. But as you obviously when you paint stuff, you sort of hang it up, don't you? So you kinda you're hanging it up and sort of working around it in in all the and mist. You, you come in the next morning praying that it's still gonna be hanging up and it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and look at it's starting a massive gouge out of the floor. Yeah, it's uh it's good your moth feet weren't around, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, it embedded itself into the floor and oh, it's the an absolute ball light, and it's and it was in it was in like clear coat stage, wasn't it? Yeah, like so it caught the rim. Oh, but it's not damaged and not buckled. I don't think. I mean, that probably that would just yeah, buff out a bit of. Um, if not, I'm just going to go with some black gloss over that because your tire is going to come round on. Yeah, it it's will. Not on the face. Bit of tea cut. <laughs> 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 absolutely fine but, yeah. but that build is going to be insane so you're waiting for forks forks and then i can get painting then we'll do the crank paint that mm. front wheel paint that so yeah every, everything's gonna be painted on everything's it. gonna be painted yeah, because yeah. it is so far you've seen you know obviously the frame yeah. just looks crazy so yeah so you're waiting for what you want a 24 inch front fat wheel. wheel as well yes um and then we're gonna work out battery and work out control I've got I've got some bits lying around yeah. so yeah we'll, we'll get it up and running we'll get it up and running yeah. and um, get it on the channel right back now it's been so cool seeing what Rob's done especially to the bike frame just looks absolutely amazing but the calipers themselves just ah oh, mind blown they just look so good so I've actually got all the bits and pieces now ready to get these on the car so I've got the discs I've got brake pads I've got brake lines all that so tomorrow I'm going to be headed back to Auto Dynamics and they're going to be fitting the brake kit so really excited about that and I'm going to take you along for the ride. So catch you in the next video, guys.